Some college students are finding it hard to stay motivated while their usual professors are not in the classroom. The faculty at Governor State University south of Chicago has been on strike since Tuesday. CBS 2's Noel Brennan met with students who support their teachers but want campus to return to normal. The tone on campus has changed. We are the union. We are the union. Mighty, mighty union. Mighty, mighty union. It is very different than normal, yes. It's not the same. It doesn't feel the same. We're not learning what we're supposed to be learning. Students at Governor State University feel stuck. What is it called? Is um, a rock and a hard place? Yeah, because it's like you want to come and get whatever education you think they're going to give you, but then you also want to be there for your teachers. Since Tuesday, their professors have been on the picket line. Chicago is a union town. Get up, get down. The union representing faculty is asking the university for what it calls a cost of living salary increase. I mean, as you can see, we have a kind of little protest going on. Say it again. Students who support the strike also worry about their education. I wouldn't call this an education right now because we're kind of just like, we don't even know what's going on, to be honest. The university says campus is open and students should attend class, even though their usual professors won't be there. Like how is a random instructor that doesn't know us, doesn't know our work throughout the semester, going to grade us on assignments? I mean, if they can't teach, we can't learn. And when you end up going to class and what you learn is useless, then it's like, you kind of made my decision for me. Because the power of the people won't stop. Students who once felt free to learn are tired of feeling stuck. It's just very, like, unsettling, I'll say. A spokesperson for the university says the counter offer from the union is well above what the university can afford. The two sides are set to resume negotiations on Monday. In University Park, Noel Brennan, CBS 2 News.